Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the spindles on your mower deck on a John Deere Z425B zero turn mower. I have the 48 inch deck. I got my spindles through Amazon. You can find the link for these spindles in the description below the video. These particular spindles fit many other model numbers. The best way to figure out if these spindles will fit your mower is just to go to the Amazon link and see if yours is listed there. I really like this mower. About a year or two ago, the motor had a catastrophic failure and I actually replaced the whole motor. A link for that video is in the description as well below this video. So obviously I got this off of Amazon, so I'm gonna be showing you what, um, what I got in the package. I haven't opened any of these up yet, so um, we'll be looking at this together. I got three spindles and they are all the exact same part number. So if I got the right parts, this should be an exact fit. So it looks like you're going to reuse your nuts on these. This is protected by a um, little rubber grommet that covers the grease dirt. So we're going to take the old ones apart on the mower deck and see how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean the mower deck off. I have a bunch of grass and stuff collected on it. I'm going to clean it off because I believe I'm going to take the deck off to get to the nuts for the spindles. This is a new motor I put on about a year or two ago. It's been working great. So the first thing we have to do is release this pulley underneath here. This keeps the, the drive belt tight. And how you do that is there's a spring right here. And I'm going to take the spring off and that will release the tension and let that belt come loose from the drive pulley in the back. It just pops right off like that. Now I gotta kick these pins out and this deck will drop down and then it'll just come off the front anchor. Now be careful. I would probably put some a, a block of wood or something under here to raise it up and then to catch the deck when it comes down so you don't smash your fingers. There we go. I'm going to use this little punch to knock that pin out. I would also put something under the front to support it so it doesn't drop down on you. So we got the back supported there. We got one pin out. There we go. Got both pins out. So the deck should be loose. Alright, so the first step to getting this deck apart is to get these plastic safety covers off first. I know somebody will be asking what size those um, bolts were that I just took out to hold those plastic covers on. They're, they're, mine were half inch. One thing too I'll mention is to keep these spindles in good shape, you have one right here, here, and here. To keep them in good shape, they have grease circs on the top of them here. You know, give them a couple squeezes of grease every once in a while, maybe every month or so, to keep them lubed up good. But I've just noticed some vibrations in mine over the last few years, and so we're gonna swap them out today with these new ones I got off of Amazon to keep this thing running good. Another thing to keep in mind is to take a good picture of this belt if you don't want to have to try to figure out how it goes back on once you're done. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna start off by taking the blades off because obviously they're gonna go on the new spindles so they don't need to be on the old spindles. So we're gonna take them off first. These are 18 millimeter. Alright guys, so I have been trying to get this first spindle loose. I'm trying to get that nut right there loose and it is not going well. This whole thing turns and I can't figure out a way to... I mean I've smacked on this wrench, I've, I've used an impact on it and I can't get this loose. So until I figure out a good way to do it, I went ahead and put some PB blaster on these, uh, these screws here, these nuts and these bolts on the spindle so that they can be soaking when I get ready to take those off. So when I figure out a way to get these off, I'll let you know. So I figured out the secret. I had been using this impact and I had it on level two. And once I took it up to level three, it worked just fine. Like I said, I um, put some PB blaster on here. This is supposed to get this rust, break this rust down. But I imagine this is gonna be pretty challenging to get those off, but we'll see. And these are half inch. compare this with the new ones and see we got the right ones. Sure appears like it. One thing I've noticed on this particular spindle is this is sitting up, it's loose and sitting up high. I think it needs to go in this rubber uh, seal here. So I'm going to try to work it in with a screwdriver. I think it would go in once I put the spindle in and put that pulley on, but I'm just going to make sure it doesn't peel that rubber gasket over. There we go. Don't over tighten these. These aren't very big studs and you can probably snap them off. It went very smooth. Just fit in there perfectly. So I gotta do the two more and we'll be putting it back together. I did notice on this deck, well I have it apart, I'm gonna be welding a little spot here. I noticed that I have a crack in it right here. So I'm gonna weld that up before I put it all back together.
your pulleys go on one way, the bubble side towards the deck, it has some splines that it actually slides onto to keep the pulley um, intact with the spindle. And then put your nut back on. So I used a half inch on these smaller nuts, the four smaller studs. And then this is a, this big nut here on the pulley is a seven eighths. All right, I have all three of them installed. Everything went very good. The only problem I had was you have to use a strong enough impact to break these loose because these are really tight on this spindle, on the holding that pulley on. And I just, my impact didn't have turned up high enough to get them, crack them loose at first. And um, then Matt, make sure you get those um, bushings into those um, rubber seals if they're loose like mine were on the sp new spindles. But other than that, um, these here on the old ones were really rusty and uh, caused some heat, serious heat when I went to get them off. But it didn't ruin any of the nuts and they were able, I was able to reuse them on the new ones. So um, I'm gonna get my uh, deck melt welded up and we'll be putting this back together. There we go. That's weird. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna hook this up. Okay, now. We're gonna put the belt back yeah, on? Yeah, can you do it now? A little bit. Uh, got it. So we were a little confused at first about how to get this belt back on. The first thing you wanna do is hook your spring up and then you can put a, a 3 8 socket wrench in here in that square hole and then you can stretch the spring enough to get that to get that um, belt on the rear pulley. So that's how you do that. You put the belt on last. So we're pretty much done with this job. We're gonna put the floor plate back in and try it out. Well guys, if you got value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. It really helps our channel out. Have a good day.